situations may change, but our Savior, you have never changed. Because of the love of God upon humankind, I pray today that, Lord God of heaven, you shall minister unto the needs of your people. Bless them, King of glory, anoint them, my God, and touch them, my Savior, minister unto their needs from wherever they are following us, O God, in the name of Jesus. We love you and we bless you, for it is in Jesus' name we pray, trust him, and believe him. That somebody say, Amen. We thank God today, my dear viewer. My name is Reverend Justice Solato, coming to you live from Apostolic Church Revival Center here in Kasarad. Today, by the grace of God, for the next few minutes, I'd like to address the subject, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. In simpler language, I want to address the subject, God you know. God you know. From the passage of scripture that we have just read, the Bible talks of a great man, a man of God who believed in the things of God and believed in the power of Jehovah God. And the Bible tells me in verse number one of the book of Ezekiel chapter number six, 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of gold. It caused me to pass by them around about. And behold, there were very, very in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. And verse number three, which Pastor Sumpano read for us, the Bible says, and he said unto me, Son of man, that this bones he, and I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. And that is why, my dear viewer, I want us to address the subject that God knows. He knows. He knows when we wake up. He knows when we go through everything throughout the day. He knows our thinking. He knows our suffering. He knows what we are going through even today. Even during this COVID-19 pandemic, our Savior and our Creator, He knows our pain. And that is why today, my dear viewer, I came to address somebody who is hearing, who is following me from the comfort of your house. And I want to tell you, my dear viewer, that in the name of Jesus today, as anointed one of the Spirit of the Lord, I want to speak hope unto that life that is devastated. I want to speak faith and to that man and woman that is about to give up. I came to tell you that God knows our situation, regardless of what we are going through, regardless of the pain, regardless of the load, regardless of whatever that we are going through. Today I came to tell us, dear Caleb, dear my viewers across the globe, that Jesus Christ is still on the throne, and he knows what you are going through today. In verse number three, number four, the Bible says, and again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause bread to enter into, and you shall be. My dear viewers, it is important to note that in the valley, they are laid dry bones. Something that is dry has no indication of any life. It is something that died long time ago. Now you must understand that God is in a purpose for human race. And in this context, it was the children of Israel. God had an intention. And of course it was a good intention. God had good plans for the children of Israel. And that is why he took the prophet of the Lord by the name of Ezekiel. And he flew him. I want to tell us, my dear viewer, God caused Ezekiel to go around the valleys. And he was able to tell him and ask him a question. And he said unto me, Son of man, can this punch me? And I said, Oh Lord God, you know it. I came to tell us something today. As the anointed one of the Lord. That there could be something happening in your life. Of course I know that there is COVID-19 that has caused a lot of trouble in Kenya and across the globe. But Jesus is saying today that what is this that you are going through? Because I want you forever, wherever you are following us from. To know that God knows your situation. God knows your pain. God knows what you are going through. God knows the suffering. 
the church of the living God shall rise up in glory. And we shall continue worshiping him and giving him the praise and the glory that deserves his name. My dear viewers, in Ezekiel chapter number 3, verse 17, the Lord spoke to Ezekiel and said, Son of man, I have made you watchman unto the house of Israel. I have made you watchman. The viewers, as a watchman of the Lord over your soul, if you are the same of this church, and maybe you are not but our follower, I want to become a watchman over your life. And in the name of Jesus, I am the anointed. And the action of the Holy Ghost. I want to speak up in the name of Jesus. Yes, you might be wondering, what shall I eat tomorrow? But the Bible says, the parts of the earth have never done funny. Yet the Lord God of Christ has been able and consistently turn the part of the earth. The flowers and the lilies of the valley have never gone to water themselves. But the Lord has kept it, the lilies of the valley. And today I come to tell us, yes, you may have no food, but in the name of Jesus, I speak word of hope, because you are like a dry powder, and the Lord calls somebody to come your way and provide some food. You might be sick in hospital, you are watching me. I want to declare, you are like a dry powder. Because if you are COVID-19 positive, no relative is allowed to visit you. You are living a life of loveliness. But I bring you the kind of a God who is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Jesus is together with you. And I speak healing upon your body in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of the Lord. Somebody is about to set out of his or her house because maybe for two months you have not paid the rent. And this is a reality in our country today. You are worried that your office shall be locked, you are worried that your house shall be locked. Wondering where shall I take my family? Dear viewer, that is why I brought you the word of prophecy that God knows your situation. He knows that you have not paid your rent. He knows that you have nothing to eat. He knows that your body is aching. He knows that you have lost your job. The Lord is no enter. But you can no longer take care of your family. Be a viewer. I bring you the name that has never changed. The name of the Lord God omnipotent. All powerful in all the situations. Our economic situation may change. But the name of Jesus has never changed. This is the name that when he visited the two of Lazarus, he called out Lazarus. And say the Lazarus, that you may be dead, but wake up and come out of the tomb. And Lazarus came out. This is the kind of a God that I bring to you today. That in the name of Jesus, he lowered your situation. You get hold of your hand. You get hold of your faith. In the name of the Lord. And somehow, somehow, the Lord shall make a way. Somehow, Jesus Christ, the Lord let us go. Somehow, my Savior, the Lord let us go for you to go through. He know it. He has you and the Lord know it. He know it your situation. He know it what you are going through. He know it you are, you are pain. As a watchman over the souls of the children of God. I speak hope. I speak joy. This is the time that we can join our hands together and kneel to pray. Be 
because let every man be a liar, but Jesus remain true. I tell you today that the dry bones in the body, the Bible tells us that when Ezekiel prophesied upon the dry bones, something spectacular took place. He said, so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise in the body. And behold, of a shaking. And the bones came together, bowed to his bone. There was a great noise from the body. When a second prophesied that life should come into the dry bones, there was a shaking in the body. Every bone, from wherever it was, whether it was a hand, whether it was a lip, whether it was a chest, whether it was a head, from wherever that part of the body was, they all came together. Now I was saying there was a noise in the body. And I came to declare to the church, even in your situation, in the name of Jesus, I decree right now, I declare upon your life, may God cause noise and bring your life together. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church of God is more than a conqueror. God will cause the job you have lost for a new job to come along with you. God will cause summer for you to have food. I know in this country there is a lot of flooding which has caused a lot of death. Even more than COVID-19. In this country, there is hunger. People have lost the shelter. They are now squatters in schools. And in our highest uphill areas. But I came to bring to you the word of hope. Because some of them may not be able even to reach us. But in the name of Jesus, by faith, it is God who causes the rain to come down. And as a man of God, I pray divine protection upon the children of God from wherever they are going through, whatever they are going through, be it flooding, be it lack of shelter, be it sicknesses, be it financial stress, be it loss of church. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the Lord knows it. He knows your suffering. He knows your tears. He's going to wipe your tears. In the name of the Lord, the Lord is wiping your tears right now in the name of Jesus. He's wiping your tears in the name of the Lord. He's wiping your tears right now in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up and have faith in my God's name. Rise up and have faith in the name of Jesus. Rise up and have faith in the Lord who spoke upon the dry bones. Rise up today, my dear viewer, and be able to rise up and declare the things of God, the greatness of Jesus, the greatness of my Savior in your life, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Dear viewer, I'm closing, and I want to close by saying, in verse number nine, the second chapter number 37. The Lord said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this. Slay that they may live under the action, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I want to speak the wind of love, the wind of provision, the wind of protection to come from the south, to come from the north. To come from the west and to come from the east, they drive and compass the children of God. And the Lord said, I speak upon your life. And the Lord 
Rise up in our faith. Because the Lord Jesus, He is a closer friend than a brother today. Your allergies may have forsaken you because you are separated from them. But Lord Jesus, He is a closer friend. The Bible says that a brother, I speak His name upon your life. I speak the name of Jesus. Upon our land, I speak the name of Jesus. Upon our nation, I speak the name of Jesus. Upon our church, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Protect your children, Lord. Become their provision. O King of Glory. How can I do their prayers? I give you a half a minute. Just take a minute with me. Because this is very important. This is a time important. In your life. I want to go to the words. For a second. About your life. And say, God, cause the breath upon your children. Jesus, cause the breath of life upon the church members, upon the viewers across the country, across the globe. In the name of Jesus. May you cause them to be. Because you have never changed. But I'm going to be present. All over the place of the same time. And therefore you are a potato of our suffering. You know it what we are going through. Lord, you know it. Where we are hard most. And I pray right now, Lord, for my view, from wherever you are following us. Lord Jesus, I pray that you shall cause the Lord to have hope once again. Cause them, my Savior, to rely on your name. That they can run unto you and hide under your pavilion. Lord Jesus, I pray for our nation. And now, it is already 18 countries. How I pray in the name of Jesus. That God, by your grace and the divine power, we stop COVID 19. We stop it in the name of Jesus. We stop our country. We stop our sins. We stop our viewers. They call Moshella, Moshella, Keep them a little strength. They cannot give up. They can keep praying. Keep praying, my dear listener. My dear, you are keep praying. Keep no 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 Whenever you are just lift up your hands up to heaven. Thank God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for coming my way. Thank you for being Sharia to my life. Thank you, Jesus, for touching my family. Thank you, Jesus. Because you know, you know my situation, you know my sickness, you know my joblessness, you know my loss of business, Lord. You know my loneliness. Does that matter? Does that sound in the name of Jesus? Does that end alone? Does that mean it's not the gospel? 
is about to give up. Lord God of heaven, I decree and declare very humbly in the name of Jesus, but this nation in the name of Jesus. Receive all the praise. Receive all the praise. Receive all the praise, God. It's now over seven weeks you have not to met. I pray for the saints of the church wherever they are. Touch the brethren. Touch our sisters, Lord. Use them even at home. Grow their faith. Thank you, Jesus. Because you know. I thank you. Bless your name. Because you have done it. Because you know our situation as a church. You know about our situation as a nation. You know about our situation, Lord. As humankind. Touch us. Revive us. Encourage us. So he divides. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I pray. Trust you. And believe you. In God's people. Wherever you are. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. If you are saying amen. And the Lord shall have a sight. The Lord remember me. May the Lord come your way. May the Lord become your provision. May the Lord become Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our Healer. May he become the Prince of Peace, Jehovah Shalom. May he become Jehovah Chief, the Lord we are provider. Till next this Sunday, at the same platform, Apostolic Revivals. Apostolic Church in the Bible Center, that's on Facebook, and on YouTube, Aston Kasarai, and the Lord God of Heaven shall bless you because He loves you.